Good morning. Oh, I'm bushed. I'm whacked. And Daisy is excited to see me because I've been parted from Daisy for about 45 minutes or so. And she's, she's very pleased her daddy's back. I didn't hear any barking when I arrived back, so I think she was okay. I think, no. um, oh, <laughs> nice big belch. I think she fell asleep in front of the, the uh, door. Both Daisy and Molly were there waiting for me. Anyway, hello, faithful viewer. It's now Tuesday of my vlog. So I got up, well, I woke up, probably woke up about half four. I tend to be waking up at half four all the time. I don't know why. Looking forward to the darker mornings when I might stay asleep a bit longer or Daisy might stay asleep. It's normally one of the dogs Oh yeah, Molly's been sick on the duvet. I'll have to wash that a second time. <laughs> Crikey. I'm not bothered, but it's my mum's electric bill. She'll be going spare. Um, so yes, I've, I, I've had some breakfast. Saw that Liz Truss is now Prime Minister. They all pee in the same pot. It doesn't care who's Prime Minister. They're all evil, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, so I got up, had coffee and um, some toast, got dressed and then I popped down to my brothers to see to Woody and Buzz. Now, I don't know which one was missing, but this, they have obviously there's two cats. One of them is more friendly, although I found both of them seem fairly friendly to me anyway. But um, one cat was AWOL. So anyway, I fed the lighter colour the friendlier cat. Apologies, I'm not sure which is which. Couldn't find the other cats, had a look round. I thought, they'll turn up. So all I did this morning, I had a rug to shampoo in the conservatory. I had the remains of some sick to remove off the conservatory sofa, and I just did the doormat in the conservatory. And I put the furniture back that I removed from the living room. So, that's the carpets done. I've, I've brought back some of the rug doctor, apart from the big main unit, so that's the last thing. I'm going to have to carry that. I don't want to wheel it. I could wheel it all the way back, but the wheels will end up being all, all scratched and pitted, wheeling along the uh, rough pavement round here. So I'll carry it, but I've, I've brought back the two tanks and the hose and everything, so it's as light as it's going to be. I mean, it's only... Well, five minutes max probably less than five minutes for my brothers I mean as you go down the cul-de-sac where my mum lives just as you turn the corner in probably about 40 seconds you can see my brother's house just at the end so you know it's not it's not a huge distance so I'll be going back there later with a floor washer and I'll be filming some footage of that machine. I just need to do an unboxing video. I, I've unboxed it off camera um, and I've charged it up ready. So I'm just going to show the box and pretend I've unboxed it. I'm not going to show unboxing it. I'll just show all the bits you get inside the box. I'll assemble it, do the intro. I'll carry it down to my brother's house, do a bit of footage cleaning their floors because I don't think my sister-in-law has got any sort of uh, electrically operated floor washer. I don't know how she washes the floors, whether it's traditional muck, muck, muck and bucket, traditional mop and bucket, or she uses those Swiffer type things. I suspect, I think I spotted under her stairs, she's got one of those sort of microfiber um, things with a, with a bottle that you fill up and there's a little spray trigger. My mum uses one of those for quick cleanups. So I think that's how my sister-in-law cleans. So it'd be interesting to see how this floor washer, if it's very dirty. So it'd be a nice footage actually. So I'm using, it's nice to have a different, different carpets and floors to demonstrate on. And she's got a nice sort of dark wood lino type floor in the conservatory and a lighter wood everywhere else. So it'll make a nice comparison. Then I'm gonna do some footage of my mum's house and also on her tiles in the bathroom, tile floor. So that's all to do. Pardon me. And then my, I thought I'd have to get that done today because my brother and sister-in-law are coming back tomorrow, Wednesday. So all I'm going to do tomorrow morning, I'll go back down there, feed the cats, check everything's fine, and then leave. And that'll be fine. I won't, I won't need to go back down there for the rest of the week. 
Um, I filmed I filmed a couple of videos here, but I think I always overestimate how many videos I'll be able to do. So um, I think some of the machines I've brought, Mark won't want me to take them back, and I'm not going to. What I'm going to do, if I haven't filmed the video I want to film, I'm going to put them in the loft. I'm coming back here again. Um, I don't know if it's for a week. No, I think I'm coming back here. Well, it will be a week. I will be staying here a week because of um, Mark being able to bring and collect me on a Sunday. So I will be here for another week, I think in October. And then I think there may be another holiday planned. My mum might be going on holiday with my brother and sister-in-law in November, I think it is. So she'll want me here for a week. So hopefully any videos uh, that I haven't done this week I'll get them done the subsequent couple of weeks I'll be here this year. I'm still going to take some vacuums back because I've got some to sell um, so they'll be doing that. So there's some vacuums will be coming back and some will be staying but I've got an awful lot to do. I've, I'm going to shampoo my mum's carpet, the hall, the stairs need shampooing, clean all the floors. Obviously it's an absolute tip. I'll show you the tip. I don't know how I do it um, but even if my mum sees this, she'll when she comes home on Saturday, it will all be absolutely gleaming and sparkling and smelling of bleach. But at the moment, it's a tip because I just do things and then leave it and then go on. <laughs> I'm a Gemini, I get bored very easily. So I do something and I think, oh, I'm bored with that. And then I go and do something else, make a mess somewhere else and get bored with that and then come down, make a mess. I've been doing some things in the loft, but it's pretty hot in there. It's still quite hot. It's very humid this week. We've had thunderstorms which have helped with the humidity. You know, it's a good good to have a bit of a thunderstorm. We've only had a few rumbles here, nothing major. I was woken up a couple of nights ago with a bit of rumbling, and we've had I must, we must have had rain overnight here. So it's fairly fresh, but it's a bit still a bit muggy, and it's very warm in the loft. So I hope to go up there and have a bit of a sort out. I've got a few things I want to try and find. I'm still looking for my suction gauge that I've lost, that I use on my other channel. I'm sure I've had it here, but I've started looking. I'm just, I'm gonna have a little prayer to the God of lost things um, and say, please let me find it. Cause I don't have to fork out another hundred dollars cause that's how much they cost. Cause I have to import it. Right, well, shall I pick up the camera and go into handheld mode and show you the devastation that I have um, wreaked, is that the, the word, on the house? Yeah, let's do that. That's where I've just been sitting. And that's Daisy. Are you right, my sweet, my lovely old lady, Daisy? Mark seems to think that for some reason the breeder has overestimated their age by two years. But until we can get the, find the paperwork, we can't check. Daisy's supposed to be 15. Mark thinks she's 13, and the same with, with Molly Moo. I'm not sure. I think Mark just doesn't want the dogs to be so old we couldn't bear to be parted from them. Oh, I know. Oh, Molly Mop. What is it, Daisy? Nay. Ooh. So, yes, there's a mess. Stop. I said focus. There's a light on the floor because I used the um, tripod support thing for it. For some reason, I've got a pack of these three and they're all different. The lights are the same, but the supports are different. The tripods they go on. One's a big heavy one. One's fairly light. And there's another one that enables you to put the light directly over. It's got this sort of cantilever thing um so i didn't want to take the very heavy so i've left one at, at my brother's the one with the lighter it, it fits it, all that fitted into my rucksack when it's you know flat packed and then i just carried the lighter stand so that's at my brother's now because i'll need a bit of extra lighting to finish off the video um i got this uh, lovely Uva constellation down i needed another vacuum to suck out muck from a new vacuum i've just unboxed and there was nothing really handy. So I thought, I'll get that out. Because I knew where that was in the loft. And I've done an unboxing of some Hoover Dustettes. Three Hoover Dustettes. 
this is what I unboxed. This won't be of any interest to any of you who don't watch my other channel. Got to be careful with lifting it. I unboxed this Hoover High Power Compact exclusive from 1980. And funnily enough, that Hoover Constellation is a late machine. That's also from 1980. So I used a 1980 Hoover Constellation to suck out dust from a 1980 Hoover High Power Compact with exclusive headlight. It's in absolutely near mint condition. I did polish it a bit more. It's had a bit of tea cut and a bit of polish. And it's got a couple of minor issues. So I did a filming of unboxing of that, but the headlight doesn't work on it anymore. It did when it was sent to me and I haven't got another bulb. I wanted to do a demo video here, but I really want the headlight working. So that's one that's going to pop up into the loft and I'll make the video of that next time I'm here. Oh, I got this light. This, you know, QVC. I shouldn't watch QVC, but I happen to be watching QVC just at the right time. I'd seen these before on QVC, but they've gone into the clearance and they do this one. That's, that was Molly jumping up. This one that says on air. There's one that says love, I think. One that says home. Uh, I can't remember. Anyway, Amanda Holden makes these in, the, in her shed at the back of her garden. These are her own brand. And we can tell that Amanda Holden made them because they put on this little beetle thing. You can hang it on the wall. It's perspex. It's got, <gasps> ooh, ugly. It's got a mirrored finish. It doesn't have an on-off switch. It's got quite a long cable though. And the cable's clear so you can sort of hide it. So any YouTubers, it's a nice little thing to have in the background. I should have put that on actually for this video. I'll do it. I'll show you it lit up in another video because it's not um, near a socket. So, but it, it looks very good when it's lit up, very bright. Um, but yeah, that's QVC um, .co.uk if they've got any left. It's on, it's on clearance. I think they were limited of that one. I've got, that's the third on air sign I've got. I've got a big one from John Lewis I've had a few years that seems to flicker when it's being filmed and they've got a much smaller one, a battery operated one from Paladone, I think it is the company. So uh, there's that. Uh, oh, that's just packaging. That's the vacuum I took down to clean Paul and Amanda's uh, living room carpet before I shampooed it. It's an old fashioned soft bag Electrolux professional. This tin co floor washer, I got that from Asda well, a few months ago now when it was on offer. So I brought it here and that's what I'm going to be taking down next to Paul and Amanda's to clean their hard floors downstairs. And this is the bits of the rug doctor that I carried back just now. Plus some detergent. So it's an absolute tip. That's just packaging to get rid of. That's the detergent and uh, my rucksack that I brought back. Right, let's uh, switch off. I've run the um, dishwasher empty. My mum, she just uses economy, economy, economy on everything. 30 degrees in a washer, her washing machine absolutely stinks. I have run a hot program with some washing machine, with some descaler. It's this hard water here where my mum lives. Where I live, it's soft water, but here it's hard water. So I've descaled the dishwasher and I think that will help. I've done it on a hot program just to give it a good clean. I've put rinse aid in. My mother, my mother never uses rinse aid but there was some left over from the last time I bought it. So it would have been completely empty. So it almost took up the full bottle of rinse aid. There's a little bit left, which by the end of the week, I might be able to top it up. And then again, I fill this up with salt when I'm here. My mum never uses salt. And I think in a hard water area, you should be using salt, even if you're using the combination tablets. So I filled up the salt cellar. The next time I'm here in a few weeks, I should be able to top that back up with the rest of the salt that's left in the bag. So that's that done. Um, I filled up the nuts. Focus. 
I'm gonna have to adjust the settings of my camera. That's a, a squirrel nut dispenser there. I saw an, I saw a squirrel earlier. You can hear them when they open the lid. There's a little metal lid and you can hear it opening and there was nothing in it. I thought, oh, so I went and filled it. I couldn't get them all in, there's a few left. My mum gives them these monkey nuts. This is all my empties from Lush that I forgot to take on Saturday. So they'll be coming back with me. Might take them on our next holiday. They may be a Lush. I'll check before we go. Oh, oh. Typical, we missed it. I don't know if you heard the little clink of metal. We've just had a squirrel. Oh, typical. Just had a squirrel and we missed it. Um, you know, it's, yeah, it's a bit messy in here. It's a work in progress. That's just a box for the floor washer. That's a box for my Dyson that I'm using this month. This I haven't opened. I'll be doing a video of this for my other channel. I've just got this yesterday. A vintage, but new in the box, unused. Two of a steam or dry iron. It needs, to, needs a plug on it because it's never been used. It's in there. I won't get it out. So I'm going to film the unboxing on this table in the kitchen, get out my mum's ironing board and hopefully I won't blow up the house with it. I think I'll test it first on uh, an old bit of cloth before I trust it to one of my shirts. And I've just, I've just been, this is what I used on that Hoover vacuum, some tea cut first and then I use this polish. Uh, my mum hasn't left me much of a note, you know. Normally she tells me when to put the bins out and everything. I'll have to ask her. And this is Mills. She stays in bed most of the time. She's very, very old. That's a little wart she's got on her head, look. Mills. We don't think she'll be here much longer, bless her. I tend to find that all the dogs we've lost, when they're sort of starting to get tired of life, they tend to retreat, keep away from the other dogs. They just tend to be on the bed and sleep most of the time. She doesn't really get involved. She's still eating. She's eating loads. She wolfed down her food. Isn't she, Daisy? But yeah, so my mum, that's why she's here, because she couldn't cope with the longer walks. Oh, stop crying. I don't know what you're on about. You're so demanding. She's demanding. Uh, so that's that's the mess I'm gonna have, yeah there's something wrong with my focusing I'm sure it's on the wrong setting because it shouldn't be going out of focus so much I'll turn the lights off upstairs is equally bad <laughs> I'm gonna don't follow me Daisy I've put a thing at the bottom of the stairs so they can't follow I'll be, oh, ow, just hit me. I won't swear. I've been up in Loft, that's my ladder. They're very good, those uh, telescopic ladders. Take up very little room. This shouldn't be too bad. Oh, there's mess everywhere. <laughs> I just threw those down there from the Loft. They're just boxes to go in the recycling bin. That's just a Henry bag. My brother left that like that. I'll tidy that up before I make a video. A whole house clean video hopefully i'll do that oh daisy's crying uh, stop it where is she stop it you i'll be down in a minute honestly can you not manage two minutes without me oh what's in here more mess half the bulbs have gone i keep meaning to get some um low energy ones i've got some for my i've got um um, uh, not as ornate as that. I've got um, a sort of a chrome chandelier in the living room at home. And I replaced all the high energy bulbs with the filament type LEDs and they're very bright and ha hardly any energy. But these, all, when these are all going, see a lot of them have blown. They're using loads. I think it's at least 40 watts per bulb. And there's one, two, three, five bulbs in each. 10 bulbs at 40 watts. Is that 400 watts if these were all working? Daisy! She can't hear me. My mum wants rid of these, but they're okay. They just need a clean. So I need to get 10 LED tool stations, a good place for LED bulbs. Pretty cheap. 
This big box is an advent calendar. I haven't opened that, it's a massive box. I, I can't, knowing Amazon, it'll probably be tiny inside, but that's the clothes I tried on yesterday. That's some bedding that I had to wash because the wee went right into it. And that's outside. I don't know why Daisy's crying. At home, she's not like this. You know, I can, I can walk about the house without her being whiny. It's just because we're in a different house. I tried using that. I need to sell that one. I've made a demo of that Vax Spot Clean thing. Tried using that on the uh, bedding, but it ended up having to get washed. And they, these are go going back home because I've made videos. Well, this Vax I've done a video of. So that's going in its box to be sold got another sort of carpet washer thing I've already made most of the video of that I just got to finish it off and then I've nearly finished making a video of this vax here so that's going back they're all going to be sold so that's good don't think it's too bad well I can't really make much of a mess in the in the bathroom can I well the shower room but this will all be cleaned floor will be cleaned I'll clean all the shower and the sink and everything on Saturday so on my last shower of Saturday morning, before my mum gets back in the afternoon, I'll be in there naked, scrubbing the tiles after I've washed myself. Best way. And this is my room. Oh, you see, look, Molly did that this morning. That'll have gone, and that'll have gone right through to the duvet, which will need washing again. I've already washed the duvet once. Oh, has it gone? No, it's not gone through to the sheet. So that's got to come off and get washed. <laughs> I've got, just thrown stuff everywhere, look. But you know, all this gets tidied up very, very easily, quickly. Let's go and sort that little whiny bitch out. I hope it doesn't rain actually, because I've put a, a, a long doormat, a runner from Paul and Amanda's. I just shampooed, I just popped that outside. It's something like this that Daisy's is on. This thing here, my mum puts up this expanding trellis to stop the dogs going upstairs. I'm always falling over it. What is your What is your problem? Oh, what is your problem? Oh, dreads am I? Honestly, what could you want? You've had your breakfast. You're not getting a tea word. You get a tea word at midday. It's only ten past nine. Um, oh, I was going to put. Oh, where's my shoes? Hang on. Keep taking off my Crocs. I might as well keep them on. Because I'm going to be shampooing everywhere anyway. I'll show you the the porch. No, what's it called? Air carport. Airport carport. Uh, so this is. Um, there's no way I'm going to get all these done. I mean, I'll try and get that Miele done. And one of the G-Techs, probably. Um, if I can get three of these done this the rest of the week, that's the that's result. That'll be enough to keep me going. And then, as I say, I'll be coming back here to finish off. Oh, there's another one there, look. <sighs> so that's a firewood for the stove thing. The uh, whatever, what's it called? You know, a thing. This is the garage. It's been changed a bit. I think my mum's neighbour made that for her. That's going to hold more firewood. She also has a, a wood store at the back of the garage. So there's a lot of my stuff in here. Underneath here is an inspection pit. If you haven't seen this before in one of my earlier videos, so I'm not sure what's in there. But uh, yes, you could drive a car in here if you could get it in and then go under it. So this house is ideal for anyone who likes to tinker with their cars. All that, all those boxes at the back there, they're all my stuff. Everything that's up in the top loft it's all mine it's mainly collectibles and playmobile that's going to be for another day well another week to sort that out that's coming home with me 
I've done a video on that. It's been really popular, that video, far more popular than I expected, but I don't want to keep it. So I'll take that home, clean it up and sell that Kasha SE 4001. Oh, and that's the spot wash box, which that's going to be sold. So that, that'll all be cleared away and coming back with me. Um, that's my mum's tumble dryer that used to be this side with a, a small under counter freezer, but she got rid of the freezer. And um, so she just has a tumble dryer. My mum got rid of a freezer and I ended up buying another. So I've got two chest freezers now. I've got a little one. I've got sort of a medium chest freezer I initially bought. And then I thought I need more space. So I just got one of the little smaller. It's a bit smaller than the tumble dryer. But they're both in the garage at home next to each other. This is new decking, plastic. Very good job. Won't um, won't rot. And then the old decking was removed from here as well and just replaced with gravel, which is quite nice. And look what I mean. This is uh, he's an older man that lives over the road from my mum. He's done quite a few jobs for her. I mean, look how neat that is. He's even with some of the leftover plastic decking. He's made this little step. I mean, look at how well that's done. I mean, it's you know. I wish you could come and do my ensuite. Look at that. So inside here I should be. Oh, don't. Oh, I thought I'd trodden on a snail. I hate doing that. It's okay. I'm just trodden on some uh, a monkey nut shell that the squirrel has left. Oh, that's full. Look. No, no heating worries for my mum this winter. When she puts on that fire, she doesn't put the heating on. And lots of dead dogs there. Look, that we bought the the bodies are at um, my mum's old house. <laughs> That's the main disadvantage of this house, the road noise. There's a fairly busy road beyond the wooded area. I don't know what the road is, but it's, it's noisy. It really spoils it because look, my mum's not overlooked at all at the back. But you know, you can't really sit out there in the summer. I mean, you'll probably get used to it if you lived here, but I'm used to having a really quiet house. I can sit out in my back garden and there's no road noise. There's always a little bit of background noise, isn't there? Wherever you are normally, unless you're in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I'll just give her a treat. I think that's probably what she's after, but... <sighs> so it's got quite dark again. Yes, you'll get one too, Mills. Have you got it? There you go. All right, Molly. Have you found it? There it is. Daisy, here then. Oh, right. Maybe she'll stop her whining. Right. So I think uh, I'll say goodbye for this segment. Okay. Well, you may see me sometime later today. If I've got anything of any excitement to show you, I doubt it. But oh, stop your whining! Oh, she's so fucking annoying. You're annoying. What is it? How could you be whining? You've had a treat. You're on my knee. You feel safe. What's your problem? Oh, she's... You're such high maintenance. And Molly's sniffing around for something. Sometime this week, I'll try the, the two dog puzzles and see. I think Daisy will do quite well. Molly won't. Molly's a bit thick. But we'll try them and I'll film the dogs trying to get their treats out of, well, we'll bring Millie in and see if she wants to have a go. Because anything for food and she's motivated into action. If there's, if there's food involved, she'll go for it. 
So I think what I'm going to do, that's a nay. Might have another coffee. And um, then just generally tidy up, I think. And then film the unboxing of that floor washer. So I've got the first part and then it's ready then for when I go down later on today and film a bit of footage there at my brother's house. And then, yeah, make sure all that's tidy. And then I'll just be back there tomorrow morning just to see to the cats and then they can take over when they get home. I wish my house was as tidy as uh, Paul and Amanda's. It will be one day. It's fairly tidy now. I did leave it fairly tidy for Mark. But uh, it is definitely a work in progress. So you'll either see me a bit, well, you'll see me straight away in this video, or you'll see me tomorrow if you care to tune in. So thanks for watching.